Cast is the co-host of Loveline on MTV, and uh, he's on Comedy Central's The Man Show. Please welcome Adam Carolla. <laughs> Thanks for coming. You're looking nice. Ah, thank you very much. Nice of you to be here. You just yeah. you just flew in, is that right? You just got here. Yeah, I just uh, flew in on an American, and the uh, stewardess Nancy knew you. I told her I was doing the Conan O'Brien show, and she was like, she was gushing. That Conan is so well behaved. He is, uh, has such manners. I, it, what, I mean, I, she like she she was a stewardess on a flight that I yeah, sorry, yeah, flight she, attendant. She, on a, she knew you, and yeah. uh, she couldn't stop talking about how well behaved you were, and about what wow. a good what a good mother you had, because you were so well behaved. You must have had a great mother. She called my mother a filthy whore. <laughs> by the way. That was after I'd asked her to freshen up a highball one too many times. But I, I said to her, what, what do you mean polite? What's the deal? You right. give me you who he says thank you. Why is that so polite? I did not offer a you who I mean, I did not order one. It was, uh, I, 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 I'm sure I was just, like, kind of nice was, she, just, she kept going on it. And finally I said, listen, honey, what about me? And she said, uh, oh, you're not polite, but you're handsome. And I said, oh, okay. And she said, uh, if I were 25 years younger, I'd give it to you good. <laughs> she, she really did. She and did she, not say yeah, that. She didn't say give it to me good, but she said something <laughs> would go on. Yeah. And, and, and I was like, that happens. So that's why I get a woman like her 50s. She's, right, you know, right. not looking as good as she is. And first off, not all of you were models at 25. Every woman over 50 claims she was something hot at 25. It is not true. Secondly, I don't know about this premise. Well, wait a I was saying to her, I was saying to her, wait a minute, if this was 25 years ago, would I be 10? I mean, how does this work? And then... Well, you'd still be interested. At 10, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, what, I, could, what I could get her in the ear or nostril or something at 10. <laughs> oh, like you guys haven't done that. Oh. And then so... What a charming so, so, segment. Yeah. So I was like, all right, well, let's say we go back 25 years and we get it on. You know, then what? We right. come back to the future and I'm 60? <laughs> I mean, how does the math work on this? Right. You guys right. have never done the hypothetical go back in time and nail a stewardess game? <laughs> <laughs> of course they have. They just don't want to admit it. We've all, all right. done that. What's well, nice that I love that my rap is that I'm well behaved. That's just great. Yeah, I know. Hearing you, it like in a, doing a stadium show. Here he is, folks. He's about to rock your world. The well behaved guy. Yeah, you, you take one crap on one serving cart and you get labeled. <laughs> I'm sure American Airlines is thrilled with this little segment. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about The Man Show. All the right. Man Show premiered when? Uh, like, was it a year ago? Yeah. And critics. Critics went after you pretty hard. Is that is that true? Right. Well, they they no, they agreed it sucked. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they did. It's, it's right, that's what I said. I said went after you pretty yeah. hard. Yeah. Sucked. That you you came up with a better term. Yeah. yeah I, I I brought one in actually. It's an actual uh, review from mm -hmm. the Washington Post. Uh, he seems to represent the species at some previous uh, pre-literate evolutionary stage. I looked up pre-literate, by the way. It is not good. <laughs> He looks like he's reached the third or fourth plateau in transformation into a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> well, in fairness, yeah, I mean... Oh, how dare you. <laughs> Mr. Yoo-Hoo on the American flag. <laughs> Thank you so much for my Yoo-Hoo. Where are those manners when we need them, Conan? <laughs> now, let's talk about this show. You got a, you got a co-host on this show, Jimmy Kimmel. You guys yeah. seem to have a nice chemistry. How did you two hook up? Well, um, I uh, met him. I was teaching uh, boxing at the time. It was about five years ago. He was doing a morning radio show, and as a stunt, they were having a boxing match, and they needed trainers. So I volunteered to train Jimmy. So you're a good boxer. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Now uh, I'm not because of the drugs and the alcohol. and. <laughs> Going back in time and nailing old stewardesses has really taken its toll on right, me. Right, that can do it. But, uh, yeah, I, I trained him, and uh, he lost the fight. He's a horrible boxer. He, you know, it's funny. When I first got to him, I was like, Jimmy, we got to get you a nickname. If you're going to get in the ring, you got to get a nickname. So he's Italian, so I thought the Italian tornado 
was good. And then we thought maybe uh, the Bronx Assassin would be good. Pretty good. But then uh, after seeing him box, we just settled on Jim. <laughs> just <laughs> seemed, seemed to work. He got his uh, ass kicked. I sent him out in the second round with no mouthpiece. He uh, s still hasn't forgiven me for that he's one. He's mad about that. Yeah. And, uh, and, and shortly, we became friends, and shortly thereafter he said, we got to do our own show. And here's what the premise is. We produce it, we write it, we star in it, we got chicks on trampolines, and we get everything, all the money, it's all our own show. And I said, uh, all right, that's, that's a good plan, Jimmy. This is four years ago. I got another plan. Why don't we build a time machine so we can go back and kill Hitler's mom? <laughs> It seems slightly more feasible <laughs> at the time. You have a, it's a tough crowd out here today. No, they just, they're just not going with you on the time machine stuff. Yeah, it seems to be a when theme, it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like once, you don't, once the first time machine thing doesn't go the way you want it to, yeah. why then go to, I know, I'll no, uncork the other time machine routine <laughs> and really get this them going. This is polite. No, nah, I'm, being, I'm sorry, I'm trying to help. Now this show, the man show, you like to make fun of the ladies, make yes. fun of the women. Uh, well, does this hurt you actually get the women in your personal life or no? Well, first I want to say something. We are not misogynists. Sure, we hate women, <laughs> but we are not misogynists on this show. Uh, no, it doesn't. Listen, you got a couple of TV shows. You're in. I mean, let's face it. You need a couple. <laughs> that explains a lot. Okay. Well, uh, women. And one ain't working too good. Women aren't that smart. They're really not. I mean, they see anybody... <laughs> Wait, Listen. now, in, in fairness, let's hear them out. <laughs> you see someone on TV, you're into them. I mean, look at the... the like, I think Lyle Menendez has a hot blonde wife. You know, this guy killed his uh, parents, uh, him, the Menendez brothers. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's guys in prison... There's serial killers get more marriage proposals than guys on the outside. So, you know, how smart are women and how much do I have to worry about that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Either go along with him on this or distance myself. Which way to go? I'll tell you, if we went back to 1974, I could have got that stewardess. That's one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But in fairness, men, come on, what, hooters, you know, we see a pair of boobs and we go at them like it's a giant magnet. Are we that much smarter? No, no, no. I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to... Right, let's just settle down, you lesbians. <laughs> Is there some kind of convention in town? Or do Listen, you always I wasn't have disagreeing with you. I just wanted to get a plug-in for Hooters. That's oh, pretty much I how see. it goes. Every time I mention, I get to have the nachos free. That's how it works, pretty much. <laughs> So do you think you made your point here? This is the kind of, uh, is, is it hurt you at all though or no? You're doing no, fine. No, You got a girlfriend right now? No, no I don't. No, <laughs> no I don't. No, but in theory I could get laid. <laughs> hypothetically. Actually I do it almost every night. I hypothetically have sex when I get home. Yes, it is possible. You have a computer model on which you're doing very well. Yes, that's right. A simulator. Or a stimulator, if you will. <laughs> Oh, good Lord. Uh, well, hey, new episodes of The Man Show. That's right. Start Sunday. Sunday at 10 o'clock on, uh, on Comedy Central. So and by the way, I ran into uh, Jesus backstage, and he said he was a fan of mine. So uh, <laughs> put that in your pipes and smoke it. Yeah. Jesus, big fan. I'm glad that's the only person you ran into backstage. Uh, Adam, uh, thanks for stopping by. Good luck on the show. Thanks, John. Adam Carolla, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.